everybody, welcome back. Today is the seventh in our series on self-soothing, letting it out. One of the first things that may come to mind is that kind of primal scream or punching a pillow when we're angry. Research shows that letting out our anger actually feeds into our aggression and makes us more angry. When it comes to the challenging emotions of depression or anxiety, letting it out emotionally can be helpful. Releasing our emotions raises the endorphins in our system and makes us feel good. It also activates the parasympathetic system and therefore relaxes us. I might watch a movie that I know is guaranteed to make me cry. Or I might listen to music that is really sad. But when I'm finished and I feel like I'm cried out for the moment, I listen to something uplifting or I watch a short comedy. And that takes us to laughter. There is a wonderful practice called laughter yoga, and I had the great good joy of being taught by Laraji. I will link to his video where he outlines different types of laughter that can be used in a practice of laughter yoga. Finally, one of the most common ways to let out our challenging emotions is to talk or write it out. And coming back to that tricky emotion of anger, talking it out is really the best way to manage that challenging emotion. If you keep a journal, you can write out your thoughts and your feelings, and it gives you the opportunity to go back and challenge any of the thoughts that are leading to some of these emotions and see where they're linked. If you prefer to talk it out, you can talk to yourself, you can make a recording, and do the same process you would if you were journaling. You may want to talk to a cherished friend, one who is a good listener and who can mirror back to you what you've said and perhaps provide some perspective. And that's one of the best things about therapy. If you can find yourself a therapist, if you have the resources, therapy can be one of the best ways to work through these challenging emotions. And if you're inclined towards it, prayer can be one of the most profound ways to release our emotions and surrender the outcome to the divine. So today I'm grateful that I have laughter yoga as one of the tools in my toolkit. I'm grateful too that I have a playlist of comedy and a playlist of inspiration that can help move me through some of my difficult emotions. I'm also grateful that I have a few movies that I can turn to that are guaranteed to be tearjerkers. Aside from stimulating the endocrine system, doing laughter yoga as I did this morning really brings me a lot of joy. And for me, one of the practices of oneness is prayer. For what are you most grateful today?